Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG48, and welcome back to Green Hell. And today we are going to be doing a massive amount of building. Uh, let me catch you up to speed on what I've been doing off camera. Um, I've been gathering a bunch of sticks and a bunch of logs. Uh, my stick holder is almost full. My log holder is almost full. I actually have a bamboo stick holder because I still have bamboo on me. And I want to hold on to this bamboo, but uh, you can't put it in the regular stick holder. So I have to wait until this is done. Um, how, how do I tell when this is done? This is done, right? I think that's done. I'm going to mess around with that later, though. I'm not, that's not what today's supposed to be about, but that's kind of what I'm looking at. Um, in here, I also uh, cooked a bunch of stuff. Uh, I also cooked a bunch of meat. Honestly, I've been killing the... I don't know what they're called. Chipacabra thingies, whatever the hell they're called. Uh, capi, cap, capybara? Capybara, maybe? Um, I've been killing them for their bones, but I get the meat, and my drying rack is full. So I figured I would cook it, and hopefully I could put that meat to good use. And if not, it doesn't really matter, because I was doing it for the bones. Speaking of bones, check this out, man. Check out the bone infusion. I didn't know the bone infusion was that good. Five energy, negative three food poisoning, negative three fever, and the ten fats are really what I'm, what I'm using it for. But man, that's a really good, really, really good uh, thing. It's for one bone, man. I mean, that's... It's kind of insane. And I love it. All right. So what I want to do today is I would like to work on um, this thing right here and getting a little walkway over top of the river. Uh, <laughs> it's not really set up the way I would really like it to be, but um, I think we might be able to make it work. Yes, no, maybe so. Let's go ahead and save the game and we'll save in the number two spot. And then that way we can back up if uh, this really goes badly and we, you know, we don't want to waste all the resources on it. I think it's going to work, or I wouldn't be doing it, but, you know, you just, you never know. I don't like leaving the sticks on the ground for too long, because I'm afraid they're going to disappear. Although, I think it takes a long time for sticks and stuff to disappear, if they disappear at all. But still, I don't like leaving them on the ground. What the hell? Uh, okay, there we go. Alright. Just got to jump. And let's get the rope in there. I don't have any rope on me. Now, I do have a lot of rope on the rope hanger thingy saved up, but I'm going to want to save that as much as possible. Now, we do have rope in the area, so let's go ahead and grab the rope that we have in the area. Try and be a little bit more, you know, efficient. So, I went ahead and grabbed a bunch of rope, but then I was realizing, you know what? I really kind of want to get these things out of my inventory, so let's let's deal with this now. Oh, look, the, the long bamboo sticks stay up. That's hilarious. All right, so there we go, and this should allow us to get these bamboo uh, thingies out of our inventory. We're also going to need um, one for long bamboo sticks. Uh, let me take a look at that really quickly. All right, uh, strand. there we go. And I guess I'll just put that over here. Um, yeah, I guess it's a pretty good spot as any. Let's just put it in like this. All right. And that will allow us to uh, store the bamboo as we, you know, get it. And then it won't be in our inventory. Because right now, I've got so much bamboo in my, like, storage in my inventory, I can't even pick up more of the regular sticks. And I kind of need the regular sticks. So, that's the idea here. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Let's pick this up. Let's go ahead and plow this. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and plant another one of these. And it doesn't seem to have any hydration. There we go. <clears throat> let's also give it some let's give it some poop there we go beautiful okay now we are dirty and we have leeches on us so that's fun so let's go ahead and get the leeches off and the dirt we'll just uh, leave it alone for now and there we go now we can get the sticks out of our inventory the next time i get some um long sticks i'll go ahead and finish that and that's all taken care of so that is wonderful now let's finish up this balcony and all we need for it is rope which is great. Come on, damn it. There you go. What a pain. Uh, is that... Oh, I was going to say. I didn't hear the... There we go. Alright. Now we need to come over to this side. And I'm just going to chop down everything. Because we need to make some room over here. So let's go ahead and choppy chop. We're getting our blade skill up. I don't really know what that's good for, but... I mean, it's good for chopping trees, but other than that, I don't know if blade, if blade skill is used for anything. I'm going to try not to cut down these banana leaves right here because I'm going to need um, banana leaves. And I don't have anywhere to store them, but I think this one's going to have to come down. I'm almost positive it is. 
Okay. Now we need to do some lining up. So, all right. I'm going to do this once. I'm going to try this once on camera. And if it doesn't work, I will uh, do it off camera because I feel like this is going to be a whole big thing right here. So let's go ahead and save. Okay. And let's see if we can get this done right. So this has got to come right out here. So we're going to need the, the frame. All right. And yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do this by eye, and that's that's going to be very very bad. All right, we gotta sacrifice this one. Let's get these banana leaves out of here. These things will probably disappear because I don't have any room for them, but that's okay. All right. Okay, so I'm thinking right. Oh boy, this is gonna be tough, man. This is gonna be tough. All right, so line it up like this. And then pull it over here. Oh, we can't raise it, though. That's right. It's not going to be the proper level. No matter what we do, it's not going to be the proper level. Um, do I care? I kind of do. Oh, right there. Is that too far? Um, definitely going to have to jump. But that might be the best way to go. Uh, the thing is, will I be able to build off of this over here? I guess I don't really need to. It's just got to get me over here. All right, I think I got something that might work. Uh, this is painful, though. This is really painful because stuff does not line up properly. Stuff's not going to be locking into place. It's going to drive me up a wall. Um, but it's the only way I could see to make some kind of bridge over this place. So it is what it is. We'll just kind of have to deal with it as we go. And let's go ahead and start building this bad mamma jamma. Oh, I'm all tired. Okay. Drop that. Uh, we should have some big trees over here. There we go. Beautiful. Get those in there. So this is the way I'm, like, dealing with it. I'm going to... Right, my idea is that there'll be a ladder going up to the second floor here. And then I'll put down a couple more frames until it gets close. And then we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. I hope this isn't going to be too bad. But, I don't know. I think it might work. And if it might work, you got to take the chance, right? Let's get these uh, long sticks out of the water. And now let's get the big logs out of the water. There we go. Put that right there. Drop that. I saw another long stick in the water over here. By the way, I switched my um. I switched my weapon, of, my melee weapon of choice, from the spear to the machete. Um, I don't know if the spear has a different, like, skill than the machete. I'm not sure. The machete might be bladed weapons, um, and the spear is spear weapons. So, I'm, honestly, I don't really know how that works, but uh, I obviously don't care either, so. All right. Um, I did get attacked by the jaguar once, and uh, the machete didn't seem to really, like, tear him apart. I mean, I got him off me, but it wasn't, like, didn't seem faster, so. And I'm assuming the machete is a better weapon than the spear. So, if the uh, machete didn't really tear him up, then I'm assuming that uh, the machete is based on your blade skill. Which would make sense. Alright, so there we go. And boom. And we put another one down. Really? Alright, so there's a few different reasons that might not want to go down. It could be this. But I don't think so. I think it's the fact that it's, it's going to drop down too much. Um, there could be some stuff in here that could be causing some issues. I really don't think that's the case. I think it said it drops down too much. So, uh, with that being said, we're going to have to reload. Uh, this time, I'm not going to come back until I have something that's going to work. Because uh, this is going to be painful, and you, my friends, are not going to have to sit through it. Okay, um, it's not perfect, but it's actually really close to perfect. Uh, the only thing I want to see right now is, can I put a ladder in here? Yes, I can. Oh, I can put a ladder on. Oh, just like that? Cool. I might, I'm not going to put a ladder. Well, maybe I'll put a ladder on the side. I might want to, like, build this out even more on this side. You know? I don't think I'm going to end it there. Let me uh, just see. Yeah. See, I could put more. Uh, yeah, I could make that like a floor. All right. we're. Um, I'm going to put a ladder here just for the time being. But uh, I'm going to put it on the inside. So I can, like, you know. Uh, see, the problem is I can't really get on the inside. So, I guess I'll put the ladder right here for now. It's backwards, isn't it? No, that's right. Alright, cool. We just need some long sticks. 
And then I'm going to get up there. I'm going to show you how dope this thing is. This ladder is very temporary. I'll probably take it out at some point. Like when I when I really build out this side of the base. But the main part of the base is going to be on that side of the river. So this isn't really... I mean, who knows? This might end up being the main part of the base. Because I've got a lot of room over here. The only thing that's going to bother me is that tree. And, you know, other than that, I might be able to make a real, real crazy base over here. We'll just kind of have to see. Uh, that took a long time, by the way. Uh, it took a long time. It was frustrating. It, was, um, it wasn't frustrating for me to do because, you know, it's done. It would have been frustrating for me to record. It, you guys have been hitting the fast forward button. Putting me in four times speed or whatever the hell. So I sound like a chipmunk. Um, just was not worth showing. So I didn't. Uh, but I did get it, I did get it done. Um, I just had to like, basically what I did was I collected all the resources I would need for the build. And then I saved the game. I simply, you know, built, didn't work, reload the game, built, didn't work. And I just kept moving things around until it did work. And it's not a hundred percent, but I think it's about the best it's going to get. So yeah, I'm going to come right through here. All I have to do is jump up that way. If I go this way, I don't have to jump. Yeah, that's awesome. All right. That is awesome. I do like that. I like it a lot. All right, so now what we need to do is, we should we, do we put the roofs on first or do we put? See, I don't know if I want to put the roofs on first because, I because the thing is, I'm wondering if the roof is gonna block building opportunities. You know what? Why don't we do one roof and see if it blocks it? All right. So what I'm gonna do is we are going to see if we can put a frame right here. We can. All right. You see that? You all see that? I'm not imagining things. So we can put a frame there. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to put a mud roof right there. I'm going to collect a bunch of mud, save the game, and then build the mud roof. That way, if I want to reload the game, I will not have uh, wasted any of the mud. So I was going ahead and eating, trying to get all my stats up. And then I realized I don't have any carbohydrates. And then I realized... You won't believe this. There's no bananas on any of those trees. How's that even possible? All right, so this right here, you see the little red there? This is called Heart of the Oak. All right, we're going to chop this down, and then we're going to look for a little um, thingamabob. There it is. Oh, sorry, heart of the palm. All right, so now we got the heart of the palm. We're going to cook this up into a soup, and if I drink it while I'm full thirst, I should get two uses out of it um, as far as uh, carbohydrates. It's not the best carbohydrate plant, but the other plant that you can do with carbohydrates is like these, these like five-leaf red flowers on a tree. That thing gives the unknown bulbs. I think I did that at the beginning of the series. And um, yeah, that's the best That's the best one for sure. Um, I got to drink something here. Uh, I really don't want to waste a bone infusion, but I guess I will. There we go. All right, then we'll put this thing up here. And then we will fill it up with water. I think one of these... Um, do these clay bottles leak? Because I'm pretty sure... I'm filling those clay... Man, maybe not. I thought I put clay in those clay... Uh, clay. I thought I put water in those clay bottles, but and then they were leaking. But I don't have any uh, fires. I don't have any tinder. But I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm mistaken. I know that in some games, uh, if you have a like a bidon or something or a canteen, it will leak. You know, like Conan and stuff. I don't think it does in this game, though. Especially not a clay one. I mean, if you, I mean, maybe if you made it out of like some kind of hide, uh, like I could see it maybe leaking, but, you know... A full straight up like clay like bottle is not gonna leak. So Alright, so that is clean water, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the heart of palm in there. Alright, and as long as we drink it when we have full thirst, we'll be good to go. And we do have full thirst. So as soon as it's done, I will uh let's go ahead and put some water in here. Put that out, drop that on the ground. And, yep, 40, oh, 40 carbohydrates. That's actually more than I thought. <laughs> All right, cool. So there you go. If we if we don't have any bananas, uh, we could just go ahead and do that. I can't believe all these banana trees. There's not one freaking set of bananas. Like, how's it even possible? I wonder if they nerfed it. Maybe, like, um, because once you have one banana tree, you're good for life. Maybe they nerfed it so, like, banana trees will not give bananas all the time. So then maybe you have to, you know, uh, go through and do other... Forms of carbohydrates? I'd be okay with that. I mean, it would slow me down a little bit, but I, I get it. Uh, all right, so we got a day and three hours on that. All righty. So let, let me go ahead and get all that uh, all that mud like I was saying. Let's let's make that mud roof. Went ahead and took a nap, and let's go ahead and save the game in case this goes horribly, horribly wrong. 
And let's go ahead. Now, I did dump out a lot of my inventory um, so I could do this easier, and I'll show you what I mean in a moment. The hell? Come on. Uh, what did I take out? So I took out, uh, yeah, a bunch of my tools, and I just kind of lightened up as much as I could. I guess I could have taken some more stuff out. And because of that, I could move, uh, by putting stuff on the crafting table, I could move, like, I think 10 of these at a time. So if I, if I, what I want to do is I want to get light enough to where I could move uh, all 12. I think it's 12. I think it's six in each, although I never really counted. I want to be able to move the entire thing all at once. So uh, I'll probably get rid of some sticks and some other things. It's definitely doable because I used to do it before. So, all right, so there we go. And beautiful, one more. And then we'll have the moment of truth. Okay. Now, can we put the thing up on top of that? I don't see why not, but you never know with this game. All right, beautiful. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll make some more, uh, we'll make another roof right here. Because I don't want to be like walking in between the roof pieces trying to stay up there. So I'm going to make roof pieces wherever I can. And I just got to make sure that it does not, you know, interrupt anything else as far as um, the building goes. There we go. Don't these things look, look like giant... Like, well, not giant. I guess regular. Um, they look like dinosaur turds, right? I was going to say giant dinosaur turds. I was like, but that's a given. That's why I, I use the, the dinosaurs <laughs> as the thing that made the turds. All right, come on. There we go. It's really annoying I got to jump to do this, but that's all right. I can live with that. Now, am I still going to be able to put uh, walls in here? That's another thing. Yeah, looks okay. So far. So far, so good. Got my fingers crossed that the uh, the green hell gods are going to be good to me. We'll see. We shall see. Alright, so now we need one right uh, here. And then here. I mean, eventually, this is, the whole top's going to be, you know, mud, mud ceiling. But I'm trying to get myself a walkway over to here. All right, I think this is going to be the last uh, mud trip. Also, I did sleep through the day. It's daytime, so let's turn down the brightness to a more acceptable level. There we go. All right, so I should be able to hold all of these. And like I said, this should be my last uh, my last mud trip for this uh, video. I don't like that blue frog, man. Aren't there, like... I think there's certain frogs out in the wilderness that if you touch them once, you can, they can kill you. You know, I think I remember Survivor Man saying something like that. I'm not sure if it was about, it was about, it might have been about mushrooms, but still, you want to stay away from the frogs, unless you just don't care. You know, if you're in the, if you're stuck here out in the freaking survival situation, maybe you're just like, you know what, let's just get high, you know? The the frogs are either going to kill me or get me high. Uh, either way, it's probably better off than the situation I'm in right now. I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get to a good spot, and then we bring up our crafting bench. One two three four five six by the way it is six in each mud crafting thing one two three four five six beautiful so we can move 12 at a time now yeah you, you're really never going to be able to move more than 12 at a time like this so that's why that's the exact reason i only make two mud things and not one or three i feel like this is utmost efficiency Alright, is this really going to be the last one, or am I going to have to do another set? Nah, I might have to do another set, we'll see. Alright. Come on. Come on now. Come on now! I don't know if it matters which way they're facing. Uh, so I'm not going to worry about it. It kind of all looks the same when it's done, so... Alright. Let me do this one. Yeah, we're going to have to make one more trip. That's alright. That's alright. That's fine. Mud is really important. We're getting a lot done today, too. This is uh, becoming a very productive episode, which is all you could really ask for. And uh, the building, you know, I knew this was going to be a challenging build. Uh, I knew I was going to have problems with it. So, like, if I go into the, like, the episode knowing, alright, this is going to be a challenging build. We're going to have some problems. You know, just be, if I'm ready for it mentally, uh, it goes a lot, it goes down a lot smoother. Then, you know, when I go in saying, oh, this should really be easy, and it's not. Um, you can kind of tell they're going the wrong way, but I'm going to choose to ignore it, because um, I don't care. 
All right, let's go get some more mud. By the way, this little spider thing, mushroom thingy, whatever it is, uh, you can also cook that into a soup and uh, get some carbohydrates out of it. It's a lot less than the other ones, so I usually don't mess with it, but, you know, in a dire situation, it, it can keep you alive. That's for damn sure. All right, and there we go. And, uh, we're going to do another one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I only have five, and I think it takes... I really don't want to do another thing of mud. Yeah, it takes seven. All right. I think we're going to leave that alone for now. We'll just kind of go with what we got. Yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about. All right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... By the way, I can't change the direction of these things. Like, I'm trying to rotate it, and I... Oh! You rotate it before you put it up there. Okay. Like that. No, see, it still clicks back into place. So you really have no choice with the way these things go, which is, you know, it's actually fine. I'm cool with that. All right. So what do we want to do next? We want to continue uh, with the mud? I really don't want to mess around with any more mud today because I don't have enough um, campfire ash. So why don't we go ahead and just put up some of these bad boys? Okay. Um, I don't know. I think that's going to be open. I, yeah, I might just leave this as a porch. I'm going to leave that alone for now. Because I think I might leave it as a porch. Okay. Can't put anything there. Because you, you got to finish stuff before you can put more stuff down. Let me go ahead and save the game, though, just in case something bad happens. All right, there we go. And let's go ahead and grab some of these bad mamma jammas. And let's get these things done. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I think we'll put a porch right. I think I think that'll be a really good spot for a porch. Man, I got no freaking stamina, man. I can't even jump. There we go. And there we go. Let's get some sticks. Okay, one of these, and we have some sticks right here. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the sticks right. Oh, gross. Oh, that's right. I don't have it. I don't have my arrow, my bow anymore. <laughs> I forgot. I put everything away. All right, yeah. Let's go. Pick, let's pick stuff up. We don't want the rope on the ground. It might disappear after a while. And then we're gonna come over here and grab our axe. Okay, and our knife. So you gotta drop all this stuff off. Uh, that way you can you can be light enough to carry all that, you know, all the mud. Uh, so that's that's why I did that. Okay, let's go ahead and grab these. Take Max. Put them right here. I think those centipedes, if you leave them alone, they just go underground or whatever. So no harm, no foul. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here. All right, and then we're gonna bring this up, and you can grab these. See, I can't grab these. From here, you see, I can't grab them. But if you if you go into this thing, then you can grab them. It's weird. You can, like, grab stuff that's farther away. Which is kind of odd, but it, um, it's nice, though. I'm just going to bring all these up here. These things are nowhere near as heavy as the mud. I can't get that one. I uh, can't get those two. Okay, fair enough. And then you just kind of drop them on the ground. And that's how you bring stuff up here. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and do this one. Yeah, it sucks. I wanna do I wanna do more of the um I, I really, really wanna do more of the uh of the mud, but I just I don't have the, the campfire ash. Now I can get campfire ash. Uh it's just gonna take a bit of time. Uh, I'll do that between this and next video. We just gotta load up that charcoal furnace thingy. And then um that will give us the campfire ash. So let's come down here and grab a bunch of these. I don't really think I need Max, but yeah, I'm going to put the other one away. I don't want to leave stuff on the ground because I'm just afraid it's going to disappear. I'm assuming logs and sticks and everything take a long time to disappear, if they disappear at all. Um, but still, they're so valuable, I don't want to take that chance. Okay. Now, do we have enough rope for this? Uh, nope. Nope, we don't have the rope. That's okay, I got the rope right here. No big deal. Uh, let's just take three. 
Right. And then what I'm going to do is, uh, we're going to do two things really quick. Uh, we are going to make sure we can still put down the roof pieces. First of all, let's see if we can put down the frames. Okay, frames are all looking good. Oh, wonderful. Okay, great. Um, frames are looking good. Now let's make sure we can put down the roof. The mud roofs. Yep. Nope. Oh, I can't put that down because of the ladder. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, what about down there? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that's all looking good. That's got a ladder. These are fine. Uh, put that down. Yep. And then we just gotta... There. Just like that. I won't put it down right now. I just wanna, I just wanna know that I can. Alright, so... This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna show you the plan that I have for the base. All right. Um, I've got a little neat trick that I'm gonna do that I'm not gonna talk about. One thing I'm not gonna talk about, but the rest of the stuff I will. Man, I really wish I could put another frame here. That, that really kills me. We should be able to chop these things out. Like for real. Why can't we chop these things out? You can't, right? Alright, I'm not gonna waste any more of my axe, but I'm assuming you can't. Anyway, doorway will be right here. Come through here. Doorway to the back will be right there. Then we got this little hallway here, which will come around to this. And this will be like a little room here. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this because this stupid log's in the way, which is going to kind of cause an issue right here. Um, also, this is kind of in the way. I might have to move that. We'll, we'll see. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, but I think what I'll do is I'll just leave this as like a little porch. Yeah. All right, I'll put a wall right here. I'll put a, a half wall around the other parts of it. And then we'll just leave this open. And that'll be like kind of an outside porch type area. Uh, I just wish I could put one right there, but whatever. Uh, this I will probably move. It's not really doing me any good there, like at all. But I'll leave it where it is for now. And then we come over here and there will be a door right here, which allows us to go out that way. And that will be just about it. Where are we going to put our campfire? Um, I don't know. I'm not going to worry about any of that. That's my, that's my idea for the bottom floor right now. And the top floor, the only, the only plans that are for the top floor right now is this right here will be an outside porch. This will be a door that comes inside. I'll probably put my cooking fire up here. And honestly, down here probably won't be much of anything. I'll probably just have a couple storage things here and there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's just probably mostly a few storage things. I'll get rid of this. This log's in the way. <laughs> But I think uh, that will work. And those are my plans for this season. All right, guys. I am going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.